Hi guys, it's Cindy aka Disney. Today I'm coming to you with a review of a Disney product. So stay tuned. Hi guys, it's Cindy aka Disney Queen. Today I am sharing a review of a product that I have wanted for a very long time. Um, one of my favorite places to eat breakfast at Disney is Chef Mickey's and one of the reasons that I love Chef Mickey so much is one it was uh, a favorite place of my children's when they were younger and we would go on we would go almost as often as we would go to Ohana we would go to Chef Mickey's and one of the things that we loved at Chef Mickey's was the Mickey waffles. Um, not that they were anything fantastic. It was just something about eating Mickey waffles at Disney. That was just like, it was like something that you had to do on your checklist of things that you just had to have while you were at Disney. Kind of like turkey legs are for my family. Anyway, long story short, um, my children... My son, actually my son-in-law and my son, one Christmas gave me Mickey and Minnie waffle makers. Which one is it? The silver. You know I ain't wrapped that. Does it say on the tag what's That's from my mom. Oh, okay. This says to me, it say who's Okay. Byron! Thank you. Oh, you know, we're having them all morning. Well, if you lose one, you have a replacement. Yes, we're having for breakfast tomorrow morning. Yeah. Mickey Waffles. Oh. All right, let me oh see some of these. I got your Mickey Mouse Waffles. Oh, How'd you know? I can't know. And I loved it. I did. Um... They were kind of, they almost looked like, like Mickey and Minnie pancakes rather than Mickey and Minnie waffles. So, uh, I was thrilled to have them. And on many occasions, I would make Mickey and Minnie waffles for breakfast. And I think it was about a year and a half ago, I saw people sharing pictures of Mickey and Minnie waffles, of Mickey waffles that looked like the waffles that you get at Chef Mickey's and at some of the other restaurants at Walt Disney World. And I was like, where are they getting these waffles? Like, are they already made? Like, do you just pop them in the, in the toaster oven? Um, and then about the same time, there were Disney Mickey waffles that you could get at Target that were the frozen kind that you could stick in a toaster. Well, I brought those. I did not like the taste of them. It just did not. It just did not do anything for me. So I brought those one time and then I told my husband, you don't, you don't ever have to buy those again. It is just not the same. Uh, so that was kind of disappointing. Um, and then finally I saw that someone had actually, that you could actually purchase a Mickey waffle maker that made waffles just like the ones that you get at Walt Disney World. And I went and looked at how much it costs, and I was like, oh, my God. I, I mean, I love Mickey Waffles and everything, but that's a lot of money. Um, so I, I just never I just never purchased the waffle maker. So right after Christmas, I had some Christmas money, uh, and my husband said, look, if you really want it, just go ahead and get it. And I was like, yeah. So again, I sat on it and didn't get it. And then I started to realize, okay, this is an anniversary, um, a Disney anniversary item, which means that it may not last long. Like you may not be able to get them after a while. And we all know that once you can't get them any items any longer on shop Disney or some of the other Disney affiliated places that if you go on eBay or even Amazon, like the price goes to some ridiculous price. Um, and I say that because recently I tried to get a Tiana 
um, Funko Pop, and oh my God, the price went from fourteen ninety nine to I think I've seen it like somebody was selling it for like seventy some dollars. Like that's just crazy. So I I was like to myself, I said, okay, Cindy, if you're going to get this waffle maker, you better go ahead and get it before it is no longer available, and it's at a price that you really don't want to have to pay for. So. Got the Mickey Waffle Maker. Oh my goodness. I was so excited about this. I was like, I can't even do a reveal. Like, at the time, I was just like, I, I'm not even going to do a video on it. But I decided I would, like, try it out a couple of times and see, like, if it was going to turn out to be everything that I wanted it to be. Okay. I've had so much trouble with this waffle maker it is not as easy as the the single serve waffle makers that i have is um, i don't know if it's my batter or i just don't have it on the right temperature because it is a little bit more complicated than just sticking some batter in the machine putting the top down letting it do its thing and lifting it back up and it's done this one takes a little bit more effort and work. So if you have this machine, I would love some tips uh, because let's see, I have burnt waffles. So I realized that I had it on the dark setting. I didn't want it on the dark setting. I've tried it with my pancake mix. I um, made my own batter and I still haven't quite gotten it where I like it to be. I do know that there is this waffle batter that you can buy that's supposed to be the same batter that Disney makes. Um, it is a little expensive, so I haven't tried that yet. I do have one other batter that I'm going to try um, that I've used with my regular waffle makers for Disney. And I'm going to see how that goes. Now, one thing I did learn is the runnier my batter was, um, the less... I didn't like the texture of it when it was done. When I made my batter a little thicker and used it, then it did a whole lot better. And one thing for sure, it does come with like a little cup that you can use to measure in it, but I feel like that is like way too fast. And so what I'm thinking about doing is getting like a um, mustard or ketchup holder, the one, you know, squirt bottles with the little tube on the end and maybe trying that and see how that goes. But honestly, once I finally got like the texture and thickness just right and I made the waffles, they turned out a whole lot better and I like I liked them. Um, but I'm still working on it. I'm still testing things out. So if I was to like grade this on a 1 to 10, right now it's probably at a 7. Um, but I'm still not disappointed that I got it. I just think... It's not, I don't think it's the machine. I think it's the user. And so I have to keep working on it a little bit longer just to see if I can get it just right. And so I just want to tell you a little bit about it. So one thing for sure, I was concerned that it was not going to be um, heavy enough. I have a regular waffle maker um, that flips just like this one does. And... Uh, the base is plastic, but like the waffle casing itself is is metal. So I wasn't I was kind of concerned that this one would not be metal. Um, well, it had to be metal in some spots, but I was just concerned that it wasn't gonna be made as well. I will I will be glad to say that it is very well made. Um, so I think it's gonna last a very long time. I'm looking forward to like using it at Christmas time when my family comes together. Um, I can't wait to make Mickey waffles for my nieces. Um, I think that will be just, I think they will love it. At least I hope they will love it. Um, so, uh, there is a learning curve to it. I don't care what anybody else says. I know for me, it, the frustrating thing was, and maybe I'm still doing it wrong. That's why I'm doing this video. Maybe somebody can tell me what I'm doing wrong and how I can do it right. But I know it has like a little beep thing that lets you know when it is um done but honestly if i wait for it to beep 
uh, my waffles are too um, overcooked. So I've had to check it um, before it beeps. Um, I know the light indicator is supposed to let you know that it's either ready to heat up or that it's ready. That light indicator has not worked for me. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Somebody tell me what I'm doing wrong because that part was frustrating. Like I said, once I figured out the batter, which I think I figured out the batter, and um, once I just stopped waiting for the light and just kind of checked it myself and turned it, then it worked a lot better. But I feel like I'm missing something. I've looked at a couple of other videos. It looked like it should be easy, but honestly, it has just not been easy for me. So that has been kind of frustrating. Overall, I would say if you can find a batter that works for you, it's worth it in the end. Um, and you just have to kind of play with it and test it. it because honestly, um, the first time I tried it, I was ready to send it back. And then I said, okay, wait a minute, Cindy. It's probably not the machine. It's probably you, the my husband always says it's the operator, not the oper you know, operation. So, um, so if you have any tips or tricks, if you have any recipes that you think would be good for me to try, I am willing to try them um, because I want to love the machine. I kind of love the machine, but yeah, we got a complicated relationship going on and that needs to change <laughs> so that I will get a lot of joy out of doing this. So I thought I would show you what the machine itself looks like and not just show you the box. So hold please. Okay, this is the machine. It is cute as a button. I love the little Mickey pants and then if you turn it over and if you turn it over, you see Mickey's face and these are the buttons. This is the power button and then it has a dark setting and a lighter setting. I've had to move it all the way up to the lighter setting. Uh, should I move it even further to the lighter section? Like, where do you guys put yours? I would love to know. Um, let's see. Another question I have is, like, any advice on how to clean this thing? Because uh, you can see I've just made some, um, I've just made some waffles and yeah this is the side that i've already cleaned and it's kind of clean but i feel like i need should like like i use a toothbrush to get in all the little crevices how do you guys keep this thing clean that's what i would like to know um that's my that was my make next thing um honestly i do like it but I'm frustrated because I feel like I'm not using it properly. So any advice that anybody would have for me, uh, this is that little indicator light I was telling you about. I feel like it doesn't come on when it's supposed to. Um, I feel like when it beeps, which is supposed to be the indication that it's done, that um, I'm doing, like I'm waiting too long. It's I, Okay, let me show you something. So these are a batch that I made. As you can see, one, they're too dark. They're not cooked all the way. <clears throat> it actually started burning, so I had to turn it off. Um, again, I don't think it's the machine. I think it's me. So if somebody could tell me what I'm doing wrong, it would be much appreciated. Uh, I really I really like how they look. I, I mean, not how these look, but I like how they look. Um yeah, these are about to go in the trash. Uh, it didn't taste good. It didn't come out well. Um, the next batch that I made did come out well. I ate those. Um, they were very good. But I just want consistency. Maybe that's it. I want consistency when I'm making them. So I just need advice. Help a sister out. Yeah. So I think that's the big thing is the indicator light... Um, what am I, what am I missing on that? The, where I should have it as far as, um, you know, light or dark. Uh, when it beeps, I feel like it's too long past the time. And then when it beeps after you flip it, 
like I feel like that is definitely way too long past the time. Um, the cup, um, it's okay, but like my measurements, I feel like I either have too much or too little in the cup, and that's an issue. Yeah, I want to love you like I love my other ones. So, guys. If you have any advice, please offer some advice. I know a couple of my friends have one, so I'm hoping that they see this video and that they can help me out because it's not an inexpensive machine. It's not an, it's not like it's not like it's a hundred dollars, but um, it is an investment. I feel, um, and so I want it to work properly for me. So, like I said, I really want to love the machine i really want to enjoy it i really want to be able to use it at christmas time or other occasions with my family um, and share my love of disney mickey waffles uh so please leave some comments below if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for and if you'd like to know when the next video comes out, all you have to do is hit that little notification bell below. So until I see you the next time, seriously guys, have a blessed day. Bye.